Okay, folks, thanks for joining us. Today I'm going to be tying up a very famous and probably one of the most popular salmon flies there is, the Gold Willy Gun. I'm going to be tying it on a small double, so this is a size 12 Patriot Partridge Patriot Double. So I've added on my thread and I'm just going to add on some gold oval and I'm tying that underneath the shank. And that's just going to form part of my tag. So I'll just run my thread down to where the thread hits the hook points. And then a few turns of the gold oval backwards. And then the last turn I just tuck in between the hooks and pull that up. Okay, and then I'm going to just keep that gold oval pointing this way for an eye because I'm also going to have a butt. So for the butt, I'm just going to do a green butt. So I've got some thresh and green glow bright. So I'm just going to add that on. Oh. Go right down to the tag and then back up a little bit and then a couple of turns doesn't have to be big okay let's clear that in with a couple, a couple more turns now then just cut off our access so the access this time is the the flesh and green. I'm going to leave the gold double because I'm going to double that back. In fact, what I'll do now is I'll double that back to show you how that will work. Okay. Now, if you want, you could add in a wee bit of varnish there just to make the butt a bit more secure. So I'm going to just put in just a very small dab. And then I'm going to use an old needle hanging about here just to make it a wee bit more durable but it's entirely up to yourself and that's um, you furnish the drives within a minute as well so then the next part of the body is um, gold um, so it can be gold flap braid it can be gold um, what I'm going to use actually here is holographic gold mailer okay so well, with the rib secured on top, or on the bottom, I'm going to secure this on top. Using the weight of the bobbin. Okay. Now, I've got a nice flat body there. But before I go back up again, I'm going to just put on a little bit of super glue. To help secure it underneath. Doesn't have to be much. Okay, and then just quite open turns along the body there. Then just touch and turns, making sure that you stretch the tinsel as you're going on here. So it'll really wrap around every little bump or lump and give you a very secure hold. Okay, and then a couple of turns to secure it. Okay, and then again I'm going to go back up with my oval tinsel or wire. Four or five turns for this size of hook. And again a couple of secure turns. Okay, so you can see that's the main part of the body and one of the deadliest parts of the gold willy gun. Personally, I prefer the gold over the traditional. So, then what makes a molly gun is this stuff here a bucktail. So, you've got yellow, yellow, orange, and black bucktail are three colours we're going to be using. And whenever you're using the bucktail, I prefer the, the finer and straighter hairs, but it's entirely up to yourself. So, what I've done is I've prepared this is just for demonstration purposes only. I do have a wee video I'll put in the description of how to prepare a bucktail. Um, so you don't have to do this every time. But I've got my orange, my black, and my yellow. And they're roughly equal parts. Because this is a small fly, I put in a little bit more black. And then what you're going to do is, you just run this through your fingers. Swap hands, run it through your fingers. Swap hands, run it through your fingers, and you just do that for a few minutes until 
have a nice blend okay so you can start to see those colors mixing this is the one advantage over squirrel fox runner is bucktail really mixes well look at those lovely willy gun colors okay so once you have your colors you can just do it by hand but what i'm going to do is i'm going to stack this hair just to make it look a wee bit neater so you want to put the hairs the tip ends in first and then you want to slam this against the floor or a, a table so and that should bring all the tips aligned at the front there as you can see okay and you can actually see one of the tips has turned around so I'm just going to remove those before I do it any further I always just remove what will be considered the under fur here but it's just smaller fibres okay I'm also going to remove that um, fibre it's the wrong, wrong way around okay so that's basically a small clump now that's probably enough to do four or five of these um, these flies because they're quite low water so I'm going to take off a bunch okay and this is going to form a, my wing so wax my thread you can't do it 360 but i prefer just top and bottom for this kind of fly okay and you want it to extend a little bit past the, the end of the hook okay so pinch and loop it and then secure it in with the wax thread Okay, then go in underneath. And you can do a finer bunch this time round. And we're only really wanting this to extend between the tag and the hook points. So this is more of a throat. Just be very careful. You might have to readjust it, but I think that looks okay there. Okay, so you can see the general shape of the gold willy gun. So I'm gonna put a bit of super glue on here to help secure that all in. Okay, then I'm gonna cut off my waist ends. And as you'll notice, the thread is white. I want quite a hot head, so because I have that super glue, I can just cut that off and change my thread. And what I'm going to use is hot orange thread. So it's not floss, it's a finer thread, which is handier for these smaller size flies. Just add this on as normal. Okay, and I still have a wee bit of tacky super glue underneath so that'll make that even more secure. Now what I want to do is I add, want to add on a little bit of flash in the wing. So I have very fine micro crystal flash. And really I only want three or four strands here. Because it's gold holographic and because you have the, the hot head and the tag as well. Three or four will be plenty. Okay, so I'm going to just screw that in on top. Okay. Cut off my waist ends. Just adjust the size of the flies to make the make no further than the wing. And then just try and neaten up if you can around the head area. Don't worry if the head gets too big. This will be a nice trigger point. can see a waist end of the thread from earlier. I want to get that. Okay. If you find that the thread starting to slip, if you're doing that head, always just I'll be afraid to use a wee bit of super glue. It means it won't slip 
and it also makes it even more secure. Okay, then the last thing I do is just put finish. One, two, three, four, and the next one for luck. And that's your gold willy gun. A very good fly that will fix from the start of the season to the end of the season. And you can do the same on a tube fly there. So hopefully you found that useful folks. And as always if you enjoyed it do let us know below. And until next time, thanks very much. All the best.